Today, I'm going to show you how to create and upload your own images as social media banners. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And this episode is going to be great for all you marketers out there. Now as the owner of a small business, I'm constantly doing this, updating my social media banners. Things like YouTube and Twitter and Facebook actually allow you to edit the banner that's at the top of the page. So this is something we do all the time whenever we come out with a new product or have a sale, something like this. And you guys can be doing this too whenever you have like, you know, oh, I'm doing engagement sessions, you know, upload that banner. That way everyone who goes to your social media page will be able to see that. So today we're going to show you how to create and upload social media banners for Twitter, Facebook and for YouTube. And as a bonus, we're going to be including these downloads on Flurn.com. So you can actually download our templates, making it much easier to create your social media banners. All right, guys, we got a fun episode today. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So we got a couple of documents open here. It might look a little bit confusing, but we're going to explain everything. Basically, we've got our few different templates. So this is our Twitter template. This is for YouTube, and this one is for Facebook. And we actually downloaded these from their websites. Like Facebook has one, Twitter has one, and YouTube has one. So and you guys don't have to like go find all of them. We'll just offer them on Florin.com so you can download them. All right, well, let's start off with our Facebook banner template and kind of show you guys how to use this. Now, we're going to be using like same exactly like we would actually do for our business. Obviously, you would use your own images for this. Um, but we're going to show you guys how I would actually like arrange everything for our uh, like promotional things like that. OK, so here's our image for the ultimate guide to retouching, which is our best selling tutorial. So what we're going to do, we've got our image and I've got a layer with a little title and then it says all time bestseller. So I'm going to shift click all three of those layers and just click and drag them over to my Facebook banner template. All right, let's hit F for full screen. Now each of these templates, let's just turn off all these. You've got a background layer here and then you've got your templates here. They basically should say this is where your profile photo goes, this is the name and category and your call to action buttons. So the idea is you want to like avoid those things, right? You don't want to put like your main person right in front of there, which is going to be blocked by your profile photo. Okay, so we're going to start by moving these around and basically trying to figure out where it makes the most sense. So in this case, we've got a portrait. I could try to put her over there, but you know what? Over here, I've got a lot more real estate to work with. So let's go ahead and put her right over there. Okay, now we've got our logo, which is the ultimate guide to retouching. We're just going to hit Command T and scale that down just a little bit. All right, there we go. Good to go. And then we'll ha we have our all time best seller text. Now I'm going to just command or control click on both of these layers and we're going to use the move tool and left align them. So they go ahead and line up on the left. Oh, you know what? It looks like the ultimate guide to retouching has a little bit of space on the left there. So we're just going to go ahead and move this right to about there. I'm just going to do this instead of uh, with our move tool. We're just going to do this visually. So we're going to move this right down here. There we go. Hit the left arrow and then I'm going to hit shift up a couple times and that's going to make sure that they're lined up to the left there. All right. Maybe down a couple times there. Okay. Now we're going to command click these and group them and then I think they could be brought up a little bit. So what's nice here is that I'm able to actually like create this banner ad and again, obviously like I sell tutorials, that's what our company does, but you can do this for, you know, whatever you're doing, even if it's just like your friends or you've got a birthday party, you can include an image of yourself and then like come to my birthday party. So it's nice to be able to see what is going to actually be covering up your photos. Okay. Now it's time to go ahead and save this out. So to save this out, we want this to become invisible. Okay. The guide that's on the top, Go ahead and make that invisible and then we're going to save this out for the web. All right, so now we've got our Facebook banner ready to go. So let's go ahead and save this out and upload it to Facebook. So to save it out, just go to file down here to export and over here to save for web. Now the reason I use save for web is because it has this convert to sRGB automatically checked and web graphics are best in sRGB because it uses like Firefox, Chrome, Safari, they use the color space sRGB to read your images. So if you're uploading an image online, it's best to have them in sRGB. 
So sRGB looks great. Let's go ahead and hit save, put it in the right folder. All right, and there we go. All right, so our banner is saved out. Now let's go ahead and upload it to Facebook. We'll show you how easy this is. So we're going to go back to our web browser. Now here we're looking at Facebook and to just upload a new profile picture, just go right over here to the change cover button. All right, we're going to go to upload a photo and then we're going to go basically just browse to the exact image, make sure it's the right one. Yep, looks good and hit open. And there we go. We can see we've got our name here. This is all the call to action stuff and we can see it's perfectly in place. So we've got our all time bestseller, ultimate guide to retouching. There we go. And we can drag to move it around, but in this case, it's actually sized perfectly. So we're going to hit save changes and we're good to go. So there we can see our new banner is uploaded to Facebook. All right, guys, that was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do our other social media templates as well. So next we're going to take a look at Twitter. So we've got our Twitter banner template .psd, And for this one, we're going to be using the Lightroom 101 and 201. So let's go ahead and click and drag those from our source document over to the Twitter banner. There we go. And we're going to full screen this out. Now, in this case, we've got a little bit of moving around to do. Basically, I've got my background image. I want to make it a little bit larger. Now, this purple area shows us what's actually going to be visible. All right, so our background image, we're just going to make this a little bit larger because I do want this to kind of cover up the entire area here on our image. Or you know what? There we go. This will look really good too. I'm going to have it be visible right to about there. All right, looking good. Now, what we're going to do is on top of that, I'm just going to create a black layer over here. So we're going to make a selection. I'm going to hit Shift Delete and we're going to say fill that with black. Okay, and on a new layer right above that, we're just going to do a little bit of a fade. So I'm going to make that selection. Let's turn our visible layer invisible real quick. Okay, so we've got our selection. I'm going to hit G for the gradient tool. We're going to click on our foreground to transparent gradient. Then I'm going to hit D for my default colors and default colors are always going to be black and white. Okay, so now we've got our gradient tool here. We've got our foreground to transparent gradient and I'm going to be painting with black. So we're going to just Click here and hold down the shift key and go from the left to the right. And there we go. We've got a beautiful gradient going to our image. All right. And if I wanted to stretch this out just a little bit more, I can do that as well. Again, make sure this area that says, you know, visible area only. There we go. Just make sure your image does cover up that area too. All right, cool. Now what we're going to do, we've got our Lightroom 101 and 201. Let's go ahead and put that right over here. All right, looking good. Learn Lightroom fast. There we go. So again, this is definitely like, you know, I'm obviously got stuff that we're using actually for Flurn, but you're going to be using your own stuff, right? This is, I mean, <laughs> feel free to advertise for Flurn on your channel if you want to, um, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to make that much sense. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and bring those there. And here we can see this in this visible area, we can see that it is going to show up on top of any kind of social media that we have. All right, so the Learn Lightroom Fast, yeah, that looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and save this out. All right, let's go ahead and make sure this is a JPEG. Convert to sRGB, yes please. We're going to save this out and we're going to put this in the same place. All right, let's hit save. So now we're going to go into Twitter and we're going to upload that. All right, guys, here we are in Twitter. So we're going to go to Edit Profile. Then over to change your header photo. Let's go ahead and click there and hit upload photo. All right, now we're going to click on Twitter. This is the exact image we just made. So let's hit open there and you can see it's got space for everything else. So we're going to hit apply. There we go. And your image was successfully changed. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. And there we go. We can see it's perfectly sized in there. We've got room here. We can still see our text and our beautiful image that's in basically takes up the whole page. So we've got, this is really cool. So we've just done Facebook and now we're doing our Twitter. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in. We'll show you how to use YouTube to finish it up. And then we're going to offer you the templates available for download on flurn.com. So let's go ahead and click. We've got our YouTube banner template here. And these are some images that I want to go ahead and put into our YouTube banner. So we're going to click and drag from one document over to another one There we can see. And we're going to hit F to full screen. Now, in this case, obviously, we want everything to show up. We need to make our image quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to hit Control or Command T to make our image quite a bit bigger. There we go. 
That looks good. And we have our document that's basically says, you know, says this is the text and logo safe area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to basically do the same thing with our that we did with our last one. I'm going to create a black, there we go, a selection around this area and go ahead and fill this with black. And I'm going to do this on all sides of our image. There we go. Cool, looking good. So we've got our image basically surrounded in black now. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new layer above that and we're just going to again use that gradient tool to create that really nice black gradient and just kind of come in from the left to the right there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now we have a nice fade. All right, so we've got our text and logo safe area. So I want to be sure if I am going to be putting my logo in there, let's go ahead and click on these, that I do put them in the place where it says text and logo safe area. All right, so I want to put them in there and they really do show up best on black. So that's, that's why we've got them with that black. There we go, gradient on the left there. Okay, and you can see this is what it would look like on the TV. On the TV, it doesn't look that great, but most people view YouTube, our YouTube channel anyway, on their desktop or their laptop. So we're good for desktop and laptop and tablet. They're going to see a little bit of black and desktop Macs, they might see a little bit of black there. Okay, but everything looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and make that invisible. We're going to go ahead and save this out for web. Again, convert to sRGB, very important there. All right, and let's just put it in that same folder. Cool, now we're going to jump into YouTube and upload our image. So let's go to our Flurn Photoshop and Photography. We're going to go here on our YouTube channel just to the little edit icon. There we go. We're going to go to edit channel art. All right, select a photo from your computer. And here we go. We're going to go to YouTube and hit open. Now it's going to ask us if we want to reposition this. In this case, I know we're already good because we use this template to actually make this happen. So let's hit select. And there we go. And it's going to go ahead and put it on our image. And there we can see our text shows up perfectly as well as our image. And we're good to go. All right, guys, that's all there is to creating and uploading new banners to your social media. This can help out a ton whenever you've got a new project you want to announce. Just follow these key steps. First, download our templates from flurn.com. You can follow the link in the description right down below. Go ahead and open the templates and then on the very top, you're going to see what is going to be covered up by your different social media channels. So insert your art below that and you'll be able to position everything perfectly. When you're done designing your banner, make sure to turn off that top layer that shows you where the guides are. Then it's time to save. Go up to file, down to export, and then to save for web. Make sure you're converting to sRGB here and go ahead and save it out. Next, upload your images to your different social media channels and you're good to go. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you love Photoshop like I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now because we're going to put a giant subscribe button on there. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question about today's episode, leave it in a comment right down below. And again, to download the templates that we used in today's episode, just click on the link in the description right down below. Thanks so much, guys. We'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Come in, little nugget. Nugget wrangler. All right. Let's take a look at Photoshop. Bah. I hope I was recording. Yes, I was actually recording that. I don't have to do it again. Success.